Well, very good morning, everybody, for Wednesday, the 13th of April. Slack low pressure now um, over us, so the winds have dropped a bit, uh, but remain from a southwesterly direction, still bringing in a fair amount of cloud um, and the odd shower, but hopefully uh, a little bit uh, less rubbish than it was yesterday. Um, I think the Met Office got it slightly wrong uh, with how much they thought the rain was going to move up from the channel. We didn't. Uh, we did end up getting some drizzle. But as we head towards the bank holiday, though it won't be absolutely stunning for gliding, uh, it looks like it will be a fairly reasonable, half decent uh, weekend, really, uh, which uh, you can't complain being a bank holiday. Um, so looking at this, um, we've got that southwesterly wind. And on here, you can see uh, those winds generally somewhere in the region of southwesterly to westerly, um, not much more than 15 knots or so. Satellite picture over the UK shows a fairly uh, cloudy start with some holes. I think it was fairy throughout the day. Not going to see loads of sunshine, but uh, we will see gaps in the clouds and uh, the weather systems are generally higher up. Public forecast showing the chance of an odd shower, 15 degrees, so feeling a bit warmer. And uh, southwest, southwest to southwest winds. Um, so we'll uh, see how we deal with that. Um, with the increasing chance of a shower in the afternoon evening good humidity levels which means that hopefully the cloud base will stay up and won't come down at all as i said a bit foggy tomorrow in the morning and then it brightens up for the weekend so uh, yeah that temperature yep 15 maybe even 16 degrees on the other forecast and dew points uh, not a huge split but uh, 10 degrees so uh, yeah, we should have a cloud base of about two and a half to 3,000 feet for most of the day at least. Odium currently reporting overcast at 5,000 above ground. A few at 2,000 is in the TAF. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, that is quite an old TAF, though. So I will bring up Farnborough's just to see what they say. Chance of some heavy rain showers. I think they will be isolated. I don't think we're going to be that worried about them. And uh, yeah, I've sort of got that light southerly at the moment. Uh, nothing really to affect. <clears throat> OK, looking at uh, Top Meteo. And um, potential flight distance for today. Maybe the cross country for the Brave just to the south might get the peaks filled and back. Good highway up the um, A31 and uh, hogs back to Guildford if you're brave. Uh, by sort of midday, cloud base around here, um, potentially a couple of showers, but cloud base 3,000 feet, maybe get out to three and a half in the day, but not much more than that. And uh, pretty um, congested cumulus, I imagine. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the chance of some local soaring and some, uh, if you want to go off south a little bit, but not much more than that, I don't think, and uh, just keep an eye out for the showers, but should be a reasonable day. Um, I don't see there being that many challenges today. I'll have a look at rain alarm. And you can see that um, most of the rain is sat up over Wales. The odd chance of a shower, as you can see here, which is associated with this trough line, which is moving across. But I think it's moving up uh, and northeast direction. So we'd probably just see the tail end of that, if at all. No tan wise. Uh, before I come on to farmer calibration, uh, 23 will be parachuting in the Bryce zone. Uh, I'll just check the timings for that. Parachuting the Bryce zone uh, from yeah, 9.15 through to 12.15. Uh, parachuting at West on the Green in the evening, but that probably means it's active during the day as well. Um, some activity down the uh, Jurassic Coast, paragliding mostly, it appears. Uh, but not much more than that. Operationally, um, we will be either on 27 or 23. If the winch team could just make sure both uh, the Dyneema and the steel winch are ready, uh, I'll make the decision when I get out there as to how we set up and whether we can take a bit of a crosswind and go for a slightly longer run than 2-3. Uh, than um, jet movement wise, uh, we have a Airbus inbound from Vilnius, uh, is that Latvia? Um, I'm not very good with my Baltic states. Um, that's coming in at around, 
think it was around 11, half 11 or so. Uh, I'll let you know when the timings are for that. Right. Um, every six months, there has to be a calibration of the Farnborough ILS. Like it or love it. Um, the This involves a, a a number of passes by a twin engine aircraft through the overhead. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple which come straight at the top of us. And we did, uh, yesterday, I was speaking to Farnborough and the pilots to make sure that we were all on the same page as uh, people change around uh, in jobs and stuff like that. So this is the first time for this guy doing the, this ILS calibration. Uh, it's not really a problem. I'll run the launch point until it's complete. Um, it's just the fact we have to make sure we're not winching a glider into the face of this um, uh, light twin that flies around. But there'll be a number of um, cuts of the ILS from the north, the south and straight through the overhead, sometimes as low as probably 1200 feet above the ground uh, here at Lasham. So, yeah, they will be in contact with us and uh, it's going to be hopefully complete by 11 o'clock. I think the aircraft should be about to start in the next 45 minutes or so. But yes, uh, Farnborough calibration today. You'll hear a call sign flight cow. I think it was 07 flying about. So or 09. Sorry. So, yeah, if you hear that, that's just a calibrator. Uh, it can't really give way to you because uh, it's on a non deviating status. So it will just keep going so just keep away from it it's not going that fast so excellent so that's the only complication today by lunchtime it'll be out of the way we won't need to worry anymore okay right start getting the kit out i'll see you on the airfield bye for now